Hi, I'm Rory McElroy. I'm Colin Morikawa. And, and we're, we're the, the Beach Boys. Boys. What a moment you two shared in the bunker at Augusta. Let's try and recreate it. Let's All see right. what we got. Okay. How did that feel first off under the pump? Pretty cool. Like sort of unbelievable moment. You know, me holding out first and then Colin obviously following me in and just the whole, I felt like the atmosphere around that green was electric as we walked off. It was, it was really cool. Yeah. I mean, hopefully I, I tell people all the time, you know, hopefully we'll have the chance to win the masters, but you know, other than that, I think it's one of the coolest moments I, I could have experienced. And uh, I seriously had blacked out after I had made my shot. And yeah, I, I still can picture Rory to this day, spinning his arms in 50 directions. <laughs> um, but it was, it was, it was a really cool moment and something you'll, you'll never forget. I think every time you, you get to Augusta. And let's just talk about the spinning of the arm moment. There's a little something in there, isn't there behind yeah, the scenes? Horrendous. So I've hit my shot and like, I wanted, I got so excited as the ball went in and I wanted to, my bag was sitting over here, like just behind, I wanted to throw my club at my bag <laughs> and I forgot what hand my club was in. <laughs> So I ended up going to throw, except the club went behind me because it wasn't in the right hand. Oh, like a true just, Yeah, like just so bad. Uh, I mean, it's what, but it will literally be one of the most iconic moments. It's great to both be involved in yeah, that. And it it, is, we played yeah. for years. So the shot was a little something like this, right? We're going to have yeah. both of you hit this and then we'll go to Collins. So play okay. one out there. Talk to us about what you saw. Yeah, so for me, it was... Uh, I was worried that if I used the slope that the ball wouldn't get all the way down to the hole, even though Augusta's greens are so fast. So I remember talking to it with my caddy, Harry, just being like, I don't know if I should go straight at it and sort of just leave myself like a six or eight footer for par coming back. Or if I, you know, go up the hill and, and Harry was pretty adamant if I got it riding the hill that it would get down to the hole. You know, so I went out and I looked at it and it was like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to use the slope here. And it wasn't a particularly great lie. So I just had to sort of, get it out there and I think what helped was there was no spin on the ball so the momentum of the ball sort of carried it around and got it going down the hill maybe faster than I thought it was going to and then it, it obviously got got to the hole. So. so technique wise boys when you're playing a bunker shot like that and it's going to break we've already yeah. said the lie maybe was helping you out a little but yeah. how do you pick your start lines out of bunkers? I've always just thought about where I want the ball to land. And then I just try to visualize from that landing spot what the ball's gonna do and sort of let gravity take over. So that's basically what, what I tried to do. So I picked the landing spot and was, you know, just sort of left it in the in the lap of the gods at that point. Let's see what you can do from here. All right. I just remember walking up and it looked like the hardest shot on property. His did? <laughs> yeah, his. <laughs> Interesting that you hadn't thought about someone else's shot going in. Augusta yeah. pace, he might have wow. done it. I mean, I, I think it was perfect. I don't think you can do better than that. No, I don't think I can put him through that. I'm tempted no. to not put you through it. Let's just move on to yeah, yours. Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, let's move on to I'd yours. I'd love to. So imagine the scenario, though. The place is going electric now. You've yeah. done your shocking celebration, which, you know, now we know the behind the, the scenes on that. It was a shocking celebration. But Colin, like, when do you know to hit the shot? Because you must be buzzing for him too, naturally, right? You've already said you appreciated how difficult his shot was. Yeah. But you've got to play a shot. Yeah, And in no, his I mean, mind, he's finishing, you know, you're making yeah. in the clubhouse, this is it. we got a shot of winning this thing. After he makes a shot, I mean, I, I can't do anything. I'm standing there waiting for the crowd to go crazy, waiting for him to calm down. He's throwing his ball out to the crowd. Um, and at this point, I know, I'd known Rory had played a really good round. I, I knew I was kind of in the top 10, you know, kind of close to that top five spot at the Masters. And, and what was cool about my shot is that Rory probably had a half a foot to land his ball with the right speed and the right pace. I had the entire green. I mean, I could have clipped it. It was a great lie. I could have clipped options. it, got there. I could have got away with a chunk and run. Um, and what ended up happening was I got a little bit steep, got a little bit heavy, and it just ran. And, I actually thought it was going to run a little too hard and thankfully it hit the middle of the pin. And from there it was uh copy Rory and grab the ball, throw it out to the crowd. And <laughs> you'd already seen adios. the blueprint. Yeah. Just not. <laughs> thankfully you didn't follow the blueprint. Yeah. In terms of I, the I think I might've but... looked, I want to say I looked at Rory after I made it. I'm going to have to go back on the clip because it was, uh, 
it was a cool celebration right after we, you know, I, yeah. I'm going to say great shot, but I, I'm not going to like, you know, high five him and everything when I still have my shot. But after yeah. I made mine, it was kind of a, it was a good relief to a great, you know, final round, I think between the both of us. Pretty sweet walk off moment for both of us. Yeah. yeah. Something that you can share forever. So yeah. Yeah. give us the demo here, Colin, like any thoughts. So you said you had options. Now that can be a tricky thing in a golf shot, especially around the greens. If the, you had, this is the way I have to play it, but now you got options. That can be hard. How do you dial yourself into, okay, this is the way I'm going to play that. I think it's just whatever you feel most comfortable with. I mean, on that shot, it was, okay, you know, if I landed midway, I can get a little check on it and then just have it release. I mean, it's still downhill. It's still away from you, but not drastically. And it's just, you know, you have to be specific with your target. Like, I know that I can get away with it, but I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about still landing it in a specific spot, trying to check it up and have it release to the pin. Okay. Well, the bar's set high. <laughs> yeah. Not as high as it was at Augusta, but it's high. Good shot. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what happened. I just chunked it and... When you have an easy-ish bunker shot, you can get away like, with things like that. Boys, that's an amazing moment that you shared. I'm sure there's going to be plenty more. It's always a pleasure to be here and listening to you. So I wish you both best of luck again at Augusta. Keep it going. Cheers, Charlie. Thanks, Charlie. Cheers, boys.